Hi everyone. Well, it's been a busy year so far, and with Easter just around the corner, it feels like the weeks are simply flying by. In some ways, it's a good thing. I always look forward to spring and the extending hours of daylight associated with this particular time of the year. Because I do like the lighter evenings, like most people, um, but for me in particular, it's the mornings, because it's around this time of year that my early morning run finishes just as dawn is breaking, and it's always such a wonderful sight to see. Now, many of you will know I'm always banging on about the mental and physical health benefits of sticking to a regular exercise routine. And there are times in the winter when I question my own sanity, but never once have I finished a run and regretted it. Now, of course, I've started a few and regretted it, especially when it's raining, a nightmare for someone like me who wears glasses. Um, but it's the Derby 10k run on Sunday, and I know a few of the local colleagues are running it just as I am, so let's hope the weather is a bit kinder. Now, I hope you're all following the incredibly exciting promotion race in League One. We had 32,500 supporters at Pride Park on Saturday to watch Derby beat Bolton and cement our place in the automatic promotion places with just seven games to go. You just know it's going to go down to the wire. It's never going to be an easy ride with Derby, I can assure you. However, this month's diversity theme is neurodiversity. And we've heard some wonderful personal accounts of how neurodiversity can provide both a challenge and a superpower. But I think it's wonderful how our understanding has massively improved in recent years. And this has encouraged people to embrace and accept who they are rather than shutting themselves away. It's sad when I think back to my school days in the 80s, for how fellow pupils were simply labelled as being naughty or disruptive, instead of taking the time to understand what would motivate rather than frustrate them. I'm so glad we promote our diversity months. The positive stories I hear back are really encouraging and helpful. Uh, so this week is the second week for our college in, colleague engagement survey. The closing date is the 22nd of March. As ever, I would encourage you to complete your survey. It really does make a difference and for everyone. And from a business perspective, February, like January, has been a mixed bag of results. Service and parts were really strong. Our body shop operations delivered a good result. Truck sales deliveries are lower than where we planned them to be. Now, it's not just Motors Commercials facing this challenge. The whole UK truck market is undergoing a difficult time. There's been a real slowdown in demand in recent months and there are high levels of unsold stock around the country. Now, we have a number of actions in place to improve this situation and we are seeing signs in some parts of the country that demand levels are increasing. But the backdrop for our business remains tough. High interest rates make our vehicle stock holding more expensive and ongoing bodybuild capacity issues across the UK means we are holding on to our stock for longer. And of course, inflation, while still improving, does continue to drive up our cost base. However, we meet these challenges head on and we continue to provide service excellence to our customers and to each other. So thank you for that. I wish you all the best and look forward to catching up on my travels around the country.